Okay, people, welcome back to my rise. We are continuing where we left off. I believe the NXT tournament. It's actually been a, a while since I've played this. Since I've been doing the recording editing and I've been doing a bunch of stuff that's just been keeping me away from properly playing this game. Like, I literally went in and it's the first time I've been properly able to edit my moveset or anything. So I have got some more power moves since I felt like my moveset was kind of generic and too basic. So I decided, you know what, we're going to make it a bit more flashy. We're going to add some more power moves in. While still sort of keeping that basic stuff, you know? So I guess we stand in each other's way of making it to the finals? Yeah, we yeah. do. Looks that way. Who would have thought after all our battles at the PC we'd be facing each other again with so much on the line? I saw how talented you were at the PC, so I'm not surprised. But I want you to know that. Hey, we teamed together. We, we know how good this guy is. I'm not going to take it easy on you. I want this title opportunity more than anything. I feel the same way. So may the best man win. Yeah, you better not try anything, Hector. Clean match here. If you cost me, I am going to bring hellfire and brimstone upon you. My guy's already teetering towards that hill route, you know? And if Hector's plays some games, it's going to go very bad for him very quick. Jeez, that was a long loading screen. But they did fix quite a few things. And here we go. James Damien. Updated entrance. Updated moveset. First time we've seen him in a while. He got the pirate outfit. So he's the captain of the ship. Where's my title? I'm North American champion still. So I am thinking of cutting out a lot of those pointless matches. Like if they don't lead to any storylines. I might start cutting out some matches, you know. But it's like, if we're defending, like, it, it's like, it's just not interesting, you know? Like, I feel like it just takes up so much time and makes the videos sort of fat. So I'm probably going to start cutting out matches if, like, they don't have any storyline implications. And it's just like, just, just so I can talk on my own. Pretty much. Uh, I'll, I'll just wait to win the match. I'll wait to win the match. I accidentally muted the game sound. But yeah, okay, now, now we can properly talk. So pretty much, if, like, it's just, oh, I made a bet with XYZ type stuff again, I probably won't. Oh, no. Is it one of these notorious? Okay, my bell clap doesn't connect. Okay, I got to change that immediately. That's great. That's really good. Oh, excuse me. This man need to be checked. Hey, Hector, come on. Need that anyway. I thought we were friends. Okay, you you want to play this game, Hector? You want to play this game? We'll play this game. I need to change up some of my ground moves. I forgot. I only changed my standing moves, but this stuff stuff like ugh. Like they need to change those animations to make them a bit more snappy, you know? Oh, back spin kick. Oh, excuse me. I'm almost stunned already. What? That is just insane. Get off me. Get out of here, Hector. Oh, excuse me. I clicked a grapple. Not sure why I did that. Catches the leg. Oh, we're pointing at you, Axe Handle. Yeah, you, Hector. Beautiful arm ring. He's taking some good hits. And now we're going for the knee. Getting one of my vital attacks in to size him up for that finisher. And you know what? Let's go to the knee again. Give him some extra sauce. That'll tear your knee up. Oh, and a beautiful slam. Elbow drop. Oh, no. This is going to be great, isn't it? These two men are giving it their all with so much at stake in this NXT breakout tournament. Irish whip. And the referee got caught sleeping. Now we're really going to find out who wants to advance. Wait a second. We've got company. It's Joaquin Wilde. Yeah, and he brought a guest of his own in the form of a kid. Son of a gun. Taking out his frustration after You day cheater. Hector Flores. Don't you dare, Hector. Idea what just happened. Don't you dare, Hector. The now Hector's going up top to capitalize. Don't you dare, Hector. You get down right now. 
I am not going to be screwed again. First Jeff Hardy and now this trash. Okay, Hector. You've asked for it. You've asked for it, Hector. No. Uh, didn't this literally happen before with Hector as well? Well, somebody's going to die. I can tell you that somebody's about to die. And he's not too happy about it. Too bad. Take the win and move on. Somebody's about to die. I could guarantee you that. No, I'll fix the bell clap later. Like, for now... We'll fix the bell clap later. Okay, yeah, time for murder. We're going to kill a guy on live TV, people. I'm not even joking. That's going to be my goal right here. I'm going to kill him on live TV. Because I am tired of these screw jobs. Like, constantly they're putting me in dodgy matchups. And I ain't taking it anymore. There's going to be some reckoning for this. There's going to be some reckoning for this. Because constantly being screwed over. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind. Of course, the corny man. Settle this right now. Watching this. I said I was going to have murder on live PE, so let's get right to this. Matches we've seen in WWE over the years. Of course, he. Everyone reverses the Irish whip. Brock Lesnar in 2013, The Rock versus Mankind in 1999, both classics. But the all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. You think you can roll that? Like that was a cool little animation of yours, but we're going up. Against The Rock at WrestleMania 17. I want to see a fatality right now. Of all time. I mean, in fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. Let's just agree that all of those matches are great, and I'd argue this one could live up to that same hype, guys. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. We're on about like the 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 commentators are on yeah, something. Are like, they are on Reverse something? On I swear. Bang right in the face. No one trains to be taking these maneuvers in this kind of environment. This is just danger stacked on top of lunacy. A backbreaker now. Like, look at his weak physique. Your hairstyle, whack. Your physique, whack. Your moveset, whack. Your life about to be whack. I, I, I'm definitely going here at this point. I think everyone knows that. <laughs> I think that it's the worst kept secret is that my guy's probably going to go heal. Oh, no. Any limit to destroy one another. The contempt they hold for each other can't be held down by any boundary. This is only going to get crazier. Oh, impressive counter. Look at this. Going counter for counter. Your soul whacked. Being carried around with ease. Death. Oh, did you hear that thud? Oh. Uh, excuse me, my guy can survive a fool, isn't it? And that was a well-targeted attack. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. I ain't done yet. I'm not done. I don't want to stop it till this guy is deceased. Like, you're going to have to get the police in right now because I'm about to make this man go to the morgue. You're going to need to start a criminal investigation on my guy. My guy has lost the it. The universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Unnecessary edginess entering the NXT arena. Oh, you... S oh, no, 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 no. I ain't getting screwed like that. Reversal on wild. You can eat the barricade. Like, I'm not even going for big moves here. I'm just being like, okay, time to die. Get out of my arena. Oh, 
Oh, he reversed elbows. He's desperate to not be thrown. He's desperate right now. I knew what you're going for. I ain't a fool. Get out of here. Get get on my level. Punch lands. Wild gets out of there. Oh, that's a weird reversal point. Gory bomb. And these superstars are just out of control. They don't even know it. This is not an area to go ballistic. You are not going to just hurt your opponent. You're in constant risk of hurting yourself. Oh, he landed on the metal. Okay. Let's take him even deeper now. Actually, first, eat the window. Eat the floor. Like my guy has gone ballistic. He has lost all reason, all sanity. And Hector, if you want to screw me again, this will be you. I think we just understand now that my guy is no longer lying down for this kind of screw job. Anybody who gets in his way is getting vicious punishment. I don't care if I have to go through the entire NXT roster. I will get what's mine. Neckbreaker. And his torso continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow of air at this point. I hope it is. Stupid Hill faction members. Oh, you. Excuse me? There was no reverse option for that. Okay, I reversed that. Okay, you want to break your own knee? Go ahead. Get up. I'm about to make your face match your hairdo. Like, I'm not joking. I may be deliberately overplaying this, but I'm legitimately done with people screwing us over. Because every match has been them just being disgusting. Trying to rob us of legit victories, you know? Stop reversing everything! Stop it! I reversed that! He eludes the contact! Finisher. No. I literally just reverses everything. It's so dumb. That catches wild looking. Just lean on it. Okay, apparently this ain't a car they'll lean on. Apparently, this is just not a car they'll lean on. Fine. Let's look for a car that... Okay, apparently, I'm not allowed to drag anymore. This game's gone and got drunk or something. Okay, let's drag them all the way over here. Hopefully, this car works. Is this also a climb car? Really, is there no cars we can actually use as a weapon back here? What's the point of having a car finisher then? Of course, he reverses. Oh, and a reversal. Okay, we're, we're just done. Break him on the concrete. I'm done with this. With the power bomb. Wait, he's still going? Looking for a figure four? Okay, that was weird. Why is this fight still going? What is going on here? How is this guy still alive? And of course he reverses. Of course he does. He reverses everything. Never it comes to a move. Stop it. Stop it. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Ooh. 
Wild holds him off. Rolling sure, that, that's totally legit. Totally legit. And he's able to counter. The stay down, please. I don't get how you're still alive after all that. Like, he got thrown off the thing, like, what, two, three times? Shake my head. Why should I support you? You constantly do this to me, Hector. You're constantly screwing me. You're constantly laxing in our tag matches where I have to carry us to the end. And then you rob me of a title shot. I could have been the double dominant champion. Why would I support you? Like, in all honesty, the guy should realise my frustrations here. Like, he's laxing on constantly. And then he just gets gifted this opportunity. Gifted it. He didn't earn it. He got gifted it. Well, I guess uh, this, since this guy's still breathing, we can gift him another butt whooping. Not like I'm legit annoyed at this. Like, because it's like constantly we got Hector just dragging us down. Like, I get why people go heel and Hector now. Because it's like he just constantly dragging you down. We can't break out. And his opponent. No. From Los Angeles, California, playing in at 175 pounds, Joaquin Wild. Excuse me, where's your attire? Uh, used to be a DJ. Some would say now much more reserved, but I say more focused on the task at hand. Much as it pains me to, Saxton, I completely agree with you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it already. Like, I can't break out. I was hoping I could break out, but it wouldn't let me, even when I waited. So. Here we go. Two started during the NXT breakout tournament and will come to a conclusion here at TakeOver. Walkie Wild cost his opponent a spot in the finals of the breakout tournament and things have only gotten more heated between them in recent weeks. Look, both of them hope they'd be competing in a championship match tonight and now they're going to take out that frustration on each other. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Only unlike this guy, I actually would have got the match and won. Hector was gonna lose. He was getting worked, and then you come in and save Hector from a behind whipping of the legendary variety. The springboard attack fails to land. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Landa's firing right in here. Knife edge chopped and going through the arena. He's looking a little off balance. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. <coughs> Ooh, my throat went weird. Okay, he got that because the game wouldn't let me reverse. And now he's just spamming moonsaults, I see. Because it gives him a lot of free damage. And of course the game won't let me counter that. And now he just gets a bunch of free damage, isn't it? Gotta give the AI a bunch of free damage constantly. Going up top. Taking flight. Uh sure. Wild is in control. Joaquin is firmly in the driver's seat. Oh, a corner, man. Here we go. Time for your burial, boy. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Time for your burial. Hammerlock applied. His next sit out by Buster.
You know what? So nice. Let's do it twice. And there we go. I'm done with you. He's able to beat a two count. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Shinbreaker. Not done yet. Into the dragon screw. Uh, I, don't, I don't get what it like why these people can't just accept they lost. Can't accept they're losers. Like, it's just so... Like, if anyone has a right to be angry at this point and go here, it would be my guy. Because of these people lose. They lose, and then they can't take their loss. They're losers. They're people who have to be carried by others who do the work for them. I don't need people to do the work for me, you know? My guy naturally is talented. He's naturally skilled. He doesn't need no one to hold his hand. All these people need everyone to hold their hand. They need everybody to carry him through a match. I could just go in and completely eviscerate my opponent. That's the difference between this guy and me, you know? Is that I can go in and I can win on my own merits. He can't. This is why he constantly needs his buddies. He constantly needs to get involved in matches. Because he can't win on his own. You should have stayed in the tag division, mate. It's where you're good. It's where you have people to do the work for you. Because if I remember, I wasn't your partner like the actual difficulty in the tag match as well. Like, I can't even remember if I ever actually had any difficulty from you. It's just constant domination. Beautiful. Yeah, this guy wants to act like he's some big shot. He it's always interesting to see these people going around, acting like they got something on me. They got something on my skill, my talent, my just finesse. And it's like, no, you don't. Taking away the center of all movement. And again, you try, but you get the mat. And now we're going to give you a taste of superstardom with the superstar elbow. Oh, what an elbow drop. Now give me the sharpshooter, the scorpion deathlock. Here we go, deathlock apply. It is in and it is deep. And I didn't even need to damage your legs because your back was crippled. As I said, your hairdo, whack. Your moveset, whack. You are whack. And now you've lost once again. Give me someone who was actually worth... No, give me Hector. Give me Hector so I can prove that I'm the better man. I've already beat him before and I can beat him again. And then you could give me my deserved title shot. Like I tell you, I'm tempted to go heal right now. I'm tempted just to smack Hector one. Oh, that's the end of the thing then. Okay. Social media. I know, you, you told me this before. Yeah, obvious. Uh, okay, what what's next? I better be able to demand a title shot because I I deserve I'm the I'm deserving of a title shot, you know, I'm deserving of it. I'm not sure if you've heard, but Finn Balor is now the longest reigning NXT champion of all time. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And it's not hard to be a record-breaking champion when your contract says all your title defenses must have a five-minute time limit. But remind me again who allowed that to happen. Oh, so that's why he's winning, huh? I regret letting that slip through the cracks, but I'm trying to fix it, which is why I wanted to talk to you. Are you giving me an NXT title opportunity? I wouldn't say giving. Because of Finn's unique time limit stipulation, I'll only choose his next challenger if they can first prove that they can beat another top opponent in under five minutes. Sort of like a tryout match, huh? Something like that. So, what do you think? Do you want to give this a shot or no? 
Someone has to put an end to this, and I want to be the one who does. Splendid. I'll line up your opponent for the five-minute trial run. Let's see what you... Okay, then. Let's do this. Our shot we should have had anyway, but now we're actually getting it. We should have had this way long ago. We should have had this previous storyline, but we got screwed. And now we're finally getting our deserved match. We're going to stay faith for now, like... We're getting what we want, so let's chill out a bit, you know. We did just try and kill a guy, so let's do it. Here we go. I also fixed my ground. I edited a few moves again, just mixing them up to make them a bit more fluid. Just move some stuff around. Oh, we got Devaric. No, D Divakovic. I, I can't pronounce the guy's name, but you know who I'm on about. A one of a kind Croatian Titan, ready to stomp out the opposition. Look at the size on that guy. Yeah, Divakovic. I I probably still ain't pronouncing that. So I'm just gonna call him Dominic because I can't pronounce his name. So Dominic here. Sorry, we're gonna have to do this quick. Just fighting Dominic Dijakovic. He's fighting Finn Balor's clock. Every night in NXT is a fight against the clock, Saxton. You never know how much time you have to make it to the top. We're just. M I also edited a few of these to give me a bit more power. Yeah, you see the muscles that have started developing. Damien is no longer just a boy, he is a man. The superstar. The superman. I guess you could call him. Okay, he just randomly... Oh, I don't think... Oh, high angle! He's going! He's going for the high cross! He's going for the racer's edge! He hits a net breaker! Well, an unfortunate turn of events for you. Okay, let's try this. Is it over? Big back... Power bomb. And that's one minute. We, we got all that in one minute. Right then and there. Of course he gets a reversal. Oh, oh, you get a drag and screw leg whip. Oh, he dodged a knee. He dodged a knee. Oh, I can't lift him apparently. Actually, no, never mind. I think I sw switched that around a bit, didn't I? Nice counter. Specifically targeting the leg. Yeah, I'm smart. I know how to work this guy. And here we go. A beautiful release. Suplex. Come on, don't get the ropes. Turn slightly. Oh, you get given it. No, I'm gonna pin him. Pin him. Let's pin him. That's enough. Referee, come on. That was like two seconds wasted. I win anyway. Burial. Sorry, Dominic. Dominic, I, I have to get the win here. I have to get my redemption. I, I apologize, Dominic, but that was required. Bit scummy, but I ain't risking him suddenly getting a giant comeback and wasting like two minutes just dominating me. I can't take that risk, you know. Why? Oh, Freegal, just give me my match. 
like, how hard is it to give me my deserved match, isn't it? How hard is it? Like, you gave him this stupid stipulation that apparently he's been scubbing his way through all his matches with, which you better immediately fix. Oh, it's just, it's Mendoza this time. Oh, that's easy. Up. Finn. He steers clear of contact. Come to the bottom with the chair. An elusive Mendoza there. Mendoza looking powerful. Thanks for giving me a weapon, Finn. Yeah, Mendoza is having trouble fighting back. Oh gosh, what impact. Evades the attack. Oh, he's trying to slow it down. Cross the top rope, all the way to the floor. Right back to it, returning to the ring. Okay, he did not dodge that. Sent nah. into the corner. He finds a counter for Mendoza. Drops a foot into the stomach. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh my gosh! And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Yeah, because the game doesn't let you get more than three moves on the ground. So I'm going to break this man down. Destroy his body. Again, like, what is wrong with this weakling? Like, he just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Like, I don't think I've seen someone so pathetic before. Like, wow. Great combo. Big elbow drop. Like, this is going to cut close, though. This is going to cut close. He goes, a perfectly placed target. Mendoza with a reversal. Evades their offense. Mendoza is having problems. Stop reversing everything, mate. This is due to Mendoza's confidence. Takes a shot in the back. And that failed to hit the mark. Double under hook. That could dislocate your shoulder. He's looking shaky at best now. Yeah, this is not okay. Good. You're done. You Get out of my it. ring. You're not on my league. Oh, the pen. There's two, three. No, oh, that was so close. If the ref was only in better position, that would have been three. An elusive Mendoza there. Standing drop kick. Good up. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. You're not on my league, Mendoza. Trampling the opposition. Ooh, stinging kick. Whoa, not quite sure. Of course. How small is that reach? I got it, got it, go, come on. Submit to your superior. Oh, that was close. Oh, that put me on the edge. Put me on stress street, you know. I wasn't taking any risk there. I just immediately went for the elimination of his, like, career, pretty much. Like, I don't care. I need to get that win. Like, I'm under a dubious rule set right here. I gotta do whatever it takes. Like, Finn Balor gave me the chair. I used the chair. Like, it was very nice of Finn to give me the chair, you know. Like, it was very nice for him to give it to me. Like, that was very helpful. Like, very generous fellow, you know.
Okay, we go for opportunity. We should have got like a month for going game. One fall, our victory, our domination. We're going to put this man in a body bag. And he can come out with his stupid little demon. It don't matter. Because James Damien is just that good. He'll take the demon on. He'll take Finn on. He'll take the entire roster on. If it means he gets what he deserves. Also, my guy's starting to look sort of Cody Rose like with that hairdo. Like, that was completely unintentional. The whole NXT roster keeps one eye on this prize. So when you get a shot, you give it. Also, I heard about Cody Rose returning at WrestleMania and like Stone Cold doing a match. That's pretty cool. But right now, we got to focus on the championship. You know, we can't be focusing on no Stone Cold. We can't be focusing on no um, Cody Rose. We got to focus on Prince Devitt. We got to focus on Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. Like, I'm going to be North American champion. I'm going to be NXT champion. Because last I checked, I'm still North American champion. I'll have to check again after this match to make sure. But I ain't any way getting robbed of that title. And he doesn't have the demon powers to protect him. Ah, interesting. Here we go. That's what it's all for. This beautiful title bout. One of the best looking titles I've got to admit in the modern age. It could look better, obviously. But it's one of the best looking WWE ones, at least. Excuse me, what? Superstar James. You could get a little more hype in that, mate. And introducing the champion from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. He is the NXT champion, Finn. I did not realize he had a tattoo on his hand. What's with wrestlers and getting these weird, ugly tattoos? Unless it's like an entire sleeve that looks better without the thing on. As the NXT title is on the line. Here we go. That's what it's all for. And I'm letting the entire thing play out. I'm about to make Balor. Well, let's just say... He ain't no Goliath and I'm definitely not David. Championship. Finn is defending his title against a superstar who truly believes it's his time. Maybe, but it's going to be hard to beat Finn Balor in his own game. And remember, Balor just has to outlast the clock to hang on to his NXT championship. His opponent has to win, and time's ticking. Stomp! Ooh, the stomp. Oh, stomp. I got you now. My time. Oh, there's a response against Finn. Of course he reverses. Back onto him. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Like he's just reversing everything. Really? You're just going to get your entire win oh, by reversing? Oh, 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 that's going to sting. He went right into that turnbuckle. Okay. Oh, that was kind of weird. Alright, now I'm stunned. And I'm going to be stunned for like 10 years. Isn't it? Picking up speed. Running knee strike. Ooh, well measured. I didn't click to do that, but okay. Standing drop kick. Straight up. Oh, what a close line. What a punch. Carefully measured knee drop. Let's get to this quickly because we're already nearly two minutes in. We gotta get going. Put on the back foot here. There it is. Boom. Nice. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn is being worked on heavily. Oh.
Double under for the fly. Happy impact. Of course he reverses. Heads him off at the pass. Great job refocusing the reverse back. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. Just a long rush of offense here. Is of course he does. How's that for a counter? Of course, now he just starts reversing everything. Series of reversals. Okay, quick, get this thing down. Quick, get this thing down. He's stunned now. We can go in for a big move. Try and confuse the AI. And of course he reverses. He always gets the reversal when needed, isn't it? Gets gifted his reversal. And now he does these really long moves to cheese his way to the victory. Can't win on his own, can he? Has to be gifted a win. No reversal option. Nice. Nice. No reversal option. None. It's gifted his win. Because now I've got no time. There's no way. Unless I immediately get a submission in. Like literally. Just gifted reversals. He's literally gifted reversals. He's going to win purely by being gifted reversals here. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Like he's going to reverse again, isn't he? Oh, he actually got hit. Wow, I'm shocked. Now... Okay, this is going to have to be... Move game! Oh, my God. It won't let me lift him. Okay, I'm going to have to wake him up because the game won't let me lift him up. He's looking to end this. Yeah, actually, come on. Speed, 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 speed. Uh-oh. The sharpshooter is in. You can see hope for Bauer. No, no, no. Yeah. Eight seconds. <gasps> oh. I thought with Finn's time limit stipulation that no one would ever dethrone him. But clearly, I was wrong. You are looking at the new prince of NXT. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We did it. <laughs> ah. That is a relief. We got our deserved title. And Finn Balor, the crooked champion, has been dethroned. Oh, we got more story to go. Okay. Let's hear what our brand new NXT champion has to say. I stand here before you tonight as proof that a lot can happen in five minutes. That's all the time it took from my life and the course of NXT history to be changed forever. And whether you like me or not, I can promise you one thing. You're gonna get a whole lot more than five minutes of me. Hold on. We know what this means. We thought we were about to see Demon Finn Balor, but what is this? It appears to be some kind of demon spawn, for lack of a better term. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the NXT champion. And these demon minions are swarming the champion. They're tearing him to pieces. This was clearly a message from Finn Balor that their issue is far from over.
one of them was literally just doing weird baby slaps to me. Like, I'm not sure why my guy sold that. The demon himself, Finn Balor, here to survey the damage that his minions delivered. And those minions just scattered. Like, even they were afraid of the demon. I've never seen anything like this. Our NXT champion thought he'd conquered Finn Balor, thought that he had dethroned the Prince, but now he's dealing with an entirely different beast. That's right, Corey. And from what we just witnessed, I think we might be looking at a very short NXT championship reign. I'm about to crack this man like a spoiled egg, I'm telling you. I apologize, but I'm about to tell you about your first NXT title defense before I've even had the chance to formally congratulate you on becoming champion. It's not ideal. Let me guess. I'm facing Demon Finn Balor. Yes, if his coordinated attack on you wasn't clear enough, he's demanding a no disqualification rematch against you at NXT TakeOver. And before you say anything, he did indeed have a rematch clause where he got to pick the stipulation and I'm fully aware of the missteps we made with his contract. Well, as long as you know it. I can offer some advice if you'll take it. If you want your title reign to last longer than one match, I suggest you go and speak to the only man who ever defeated the demon, Samoa Joe. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. You came to my show wasn't that big of a deal. Well, either way, I'm not going to waste your time with small talk. I'm here because I want to know how to defeat Demon Finn Balor, and you're the only man who's ever done it. I figured that's what this was all about. You know, not a day goes by where I don't think about how I nailed that painted up freak with the muscle buster and then pinned him in the ring. One, two, three. Sounds like it really made an impact on you. No, not really. It just seemed like you were hoping for that kind of vibe. I really haven't thought about it too much since it happened. Okay. So then do you at least have any advice on how I could take him down? I have an idea. But first, I want a favor from you in return. I've been battling Braun Strowman for a while. It could gain a bit of an edge if you help me out. And how would I do that? Braun's got a match tonight. Jump him on his entrance. If it was me doing it, he'd be ready. But he'll never expect it coming from you. I'll do it. Whatever risk I take going after Braun is worth any advantage I can gain against Finn. All right. I'll be watching. Just don't screw us, Joe, and you'll get your advantage, and it won't come back to bite you. In my throat. What the heck? What's he doing here? More importantly, what's he doing attacking Braun Strowman? Is he insane? We have an NXT superstar attacking the monster among men on Raw. All hell is broken loose. Oh, is that it? Does a cut scene? I was hoping we'd actually get a fight him properly. Apparently not. Go to spare, keep his side the bargain. Okay, Joe, you bear you bear come through. Bear come through here, mate. I can't believe you actually did it. That took some major guts. 
which you'll also need to take down Demon Finn. So, what can I do that will help secure the win? Is there something about the Muscle Buster that targeted some unknown weakness? Or do I need to find my inner demon to counter his? No, none of that. You took out Brawn, so I'll return the favor and take out Finn in your title match. That's it? That's it. I guess I was expecting something deeper or a little more... <laughs> yeah, unexpected. I was too. Do you want my help or no? As much as I want to defeat the demon and guarantee that I hold on to my championship, I'd rather do it on my own than winning in some cheap way. There's nothing cheap about winning at all costs. But if you want to take some kind of moral high ground, suit yourself. Saves me the trip to take over. Uh, well, well. At least he did give some advice. I just turned it down, isn't it? So he kept his end of the deal. It's just... It wasn't the way I was willing to go. Not right now. Maybe, maybe if push comes to shove, but right now I think I can take the demon. Well, I think I can take the demon, you know. The following contest is... So we got the de demonic king of NXT, Finn Balor. He's pretty much just Finn in face paint. Like, there's nothing special about him, let's be honest. I shouldn't have gone to Joe. I should have been like, you know what? I know exactly how to beat you. You just have painted up Finn Balor. You don't have a unique moveset. You don't have a unique vibe. You're just a cosplayer. The Demon Finn Balor! And introducing the champion from England. We don't need my introduction. We all know who I am. But no, I I'm going to say what I said previously. Your hairdo is whack. Your attire is whack. Your moveset is whack. You are whack. Okay, that never works, does it? <laughs> it never works. They always jump. But yeah, you are whack. You know, Demon King, you're a cosplayer. Go to Comic Kong with that attire. Because unlike you, I'm the real demon in this ring. I'm, I got that aggression. I got that violence that no one else got. I legit tried to murder a man. What did you try and do? Oh, he caught me. I did not expect that. Usually they don't catch you with that. Oh jeez, I messed up, didn't I? Here for revenge on the superstar who jumped him on Raw. It's hard enough to beat a demon, but now he's got to deal with a monster too. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh wait, there's a reversal option for that. All the way to the floor. Oh, you think I felt that? Oh, okay. At least it's on the outside. At least it's on the outside. If I overcome this, this is going to be amazing, isn't it? Like, the comeback story. I may have made a mistake angering Braun, I'll admit. But he ain't going to keep me down. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Give me that kneecap. On the apron. Oh, Finn. Ooh, I, I messed up the timing. Oh, no. No, 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 Never mind. Okay, apparently the insta counter doesn't exist. He's got him scouted. down. Of course he reverses. He reverses everything. The Uber match. 
I can't get a single move in. I literally can't get a single move. Nope, we're getting back out. We're, we're not fighting him inside the ring in this state. What is that rage? This man got some rage in him. Someone check him. Someone check this man for Roy. Like, jeez, someone check this man. What is this guy on the lights doing? Stops the kick. Oh, my skull. Connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Okay, here we go. How about you taste some steel right here? And Balor's being apart now. Oh my throat. Really having trouble with this defense. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Come on, Finn. Something planned with this table, guys. I don't want to know. Reciprocating the initial reversal. And he'll come back from under the apron. Oh, jeez, this guy's a flying heat seeking missile coming out. Missile. Like we've been beating each other. Nothing fancy, but very effective. We've been beating each other like mad. Looks like setting up for a suplex. Gonna finish things off. There we go, vertical brain buster. Into the ring again. Finn turns it around. Drop kick to me. And he goes into the ring. Got your demon. I got the demon. I got the demon. <sighs> in a in a no DQ match, he gets a rope break. What? What? In a no DQ match? Give me that bloody. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. That shoulder targeted there. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn Balor's under the gun. Oh, he's going for something. Oh, he took me to the outside. Okay. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Carefully placed stop to the arm. So much damage inflicted. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. And responds with a counter of their own. That is what I mean. Does 
pretty much Finn Balor in cosplay paint. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, complete darkness has just come over this arena. Oh, don't be scared, Byron. Don't be scared, Byron. Don't be scared. German Nine. Okay, I got that, and the game just robbed me. Was about to dive again. No Luckily, he didn't. Everyone, get out of the way. These two Give are me all restraints. Puts him on the table. Of course, he reverses. We're about to find out. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. You're gonna see some real violence, Finn. Dicey situation. He was waiting for him to make his move. There's some power behind that punch. Hello, on the hook. Get him a suplex. You're gonna see some real violence, demon or cosplayer. Balor's busted up. Balor having trouble shifting the tides. Finn is being worked on heavily. You're no king. You're not even a duke. You're not even a. You're just a cosplayer. You're just a cosplayer. And here we go, Tiger Driver through the table. That is what you call a game changer, gentlemen. Uh, I can't believe I'm I am at a loss for words right now, truly. And here we go, another Tiger Driver. This is the ending. You're finished, Demon. Go back to the convention halls. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. We've moved up in the world. He faced long odds tonight, but our champion did everything it took to survive another day. We did it, people. We did it. We beat the demon on our own without help. Even with Braun Strowman getting involved and putting us at a major disadvantage, we managed to battle through our injury. And we defeat the demon with a double tiger driver combo. Who? Oh, that's it. Okay, let's take a look at social media. Despite numerous obstacles, <laughs> James Damian Beam. Yeah, we could do it later. You lost twice, Finn. You're done.
Okay, let's see what we got next and then we'll... Actually, first let's check the titles. But where's titles located? Info? Would it be info? No. Story progression? Championships. Yeah, I got two titles here. I got the North American chat, and I guess I just absorbed it into the NXT Championship because I just devoured the titles apparently. It's odd that you can't go for the tag titles since that's not an option here, but okay. It don't matter much to me. Okay, we got um, Shaking Up NXT, Grimes Rules, Fantasy Booking, and British Invasion. That's what we got left, and then we would have to go heal, really. So we could just move to SmackDown. There is that. And there's two matches we didn't do there. It's like a face. So I guess we could check out the pool hall and see what's going on there. But yeah, this has actually been quite a battle recently these past two storylines like picked up like uh, my guy almost turned into a murderer he literally is losing his mind slowly and i have no doubt once he loses the title that's probably when i'm gonna go heal if i lose the title i feel like that would be the best time to do it because my guy seems obsessive about his titles so it would make sense like if his ego got blown like that that he would lose his mind okay what's going on Oh, it's that again. He, he really, William really wants us to change sides, you know. I yeah, I think running. Like once we got like striking up a bit, I think we'll get like defensive resilience up, and then we'll be done because everything else is pretty good right now. Like we really do a lot of damage in the current state. So it would be very little point in upgrading it beyond that point. But we got these two storylines. And I'm guessing those these are the only options I have in terms of storylines. Because there's like four. And then the rest are heal. So I'm guessing that's why William wanted us to change like our side of the war. I guess I could do Walter, but I probably wouldn't do that on screen. Like, unless it had an actual, like, thing linked to it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, people. I, I think I've had enough of this game for today. Like, it was a war, like, exhausting. So, yeah, I'll see you around. Like, comment, subscribe, share all that. And hit the bell notification icon and set to max. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. And peace.